If you're an enthusiast or a woodworker, you are probably in search of a simple scrap wood project all the time. I don't know about you, but I have tons of scrap wood and this little project was a great way to use some of it. In this project, I'm going to make a simple wooden lantern for our living room. For this project we need pallet wood, protective equipments like gloves, face mask, glasses, hand saw or chop saw, hammer, pliers, pencil, measuring tape, sanding tool, nails and paint of your choice. Using two hammers I'm going to dismantle this pallet and save all the nails that are used in building this pallet. The word lantern comes via French from Latin lanternia, possibly itself derived from the Greek. Today's English-speaking world uses the term lantern to describe many types of portable lightings. But lanterns originated as a protective enclosure for a light source, usually a candle or a wick in oil, to make it easier to carry and hang up and more reliable for outdoors and in drafty interiors. Let's start by cutting all the wooden pieces required for this project. In total I need 4 50cm uprights, 6 28cm blocks for the base and top, 4 20cm blocks, 2 for the top and 2 for the bottom, 4 24cm blocks, again 2 for the top and 2 for the bottom. As we start putting all the pieces together, I'll explain why we need 4 20cm and 4 24cm blocks and not all of the same width. First of all, I'm going to join the 4 uprights, 2 at a time, using the 2 20cm blocks. Then using the 4 24cm blocks, I'll join them all together. The pallet have 2cm thickness, so I am keeping the extra 4cm to cover the sides. Though lanterns are primarily used to prevent a burning candle or a wick being exhausted from wind, rain or other causes. Another important function is to reduce the risk of fire. Should a spark lift from a flame or the light be dropped? In the past, this was especially important below the deck of a ship. A fire on a wooden ship was a major catastrophe. Once the frame is ready, it's time for us to assemble the top and the bottom of the unit. Now this is how it looks like. The top cover will sit on the top of this unit to give this project a nicer look. Voila! Just before applying the stain or paint, I'm going to sand this unit to give it a nice and smooth finish. Once sanded, it's time for us to apply the paint on it. This is another beautiful creation of the wood pallet that is recycled into an excellent piece of work. It is bringing out an outstanding impression in our living room that looks so royal. To give your living room a catchier effect for others, do make it as a part of your house now. Thanks again for watching this video. I hope it helps you. If you want to support me, you can subscribe to my channel and watch my other videos. Thanks. See you again in my next video. Bye now.